Hey there, and welcome to a brief introduction of the AirThings Healthy Building Solution Dashboard. If you just installed your solution, or maybe simply curious about it, this guided tour will walk you through the dashboard and all the relevant features to maximize your experience. As we continuously improve our offering and the feature set, you may notice some slight differences to what you experience yourself while exploring the dashboard. Once you log in, you will be presented by a fully customizable dashboard. As you can see, I have configured it to show me three tiles. The current indoor air quality for one of the AirThings offices, the current and historical radon readings for one of the sensors in the basement. Finally, the weekly view on the carbon dioxide levels in one of the meeting rooms. I can add yet another one simply through the plus sign menu up to the right. Here, you can choose to add a location tile to get instant insights of all devices, a device tile to show the sensors of a specific device, a sensor tile to show the histogram of a specific sensor. Finally, we have a third-party service to fetch the outdoor air data for the geographical location. Let's add this one. If I didn't like it where it ended up, I can easily move it. Now, let's head over to the Devices section. In this section, you will be able to observe all your devices across locations. As you can see, we currently have 223 installed devices at PropTech Bergen, and the list starts with all the installed hubs. For each hub, you can see if it's connected to cloud, and also how many devices it's connected to via the SmartLink protocol. If we scroll down, we will see all the devices linked to this location. On the top here, we see a Wave Plus device with full battery and good signal strength. It also has sensor readings from the six sensors inside this device. Just below it, it's a Wave Mini with four sensors. And the list goes on. So let's take a closer look on the Wave Plus device. So if I click on it, I will get into a more detailed view when I can look at the historical data for each sensor on this specific device. You can also choose different ranges, a monthly view, or typing in your custom range. Up to the right, we have a download button, and here you can do three things. You can export data to a CSV file, you can generate a radon report, and you can generate an indoor air quality report. So in the devices section, you can list all the devices and go into individual ones for more detailed information. But in some cases, it's better with a more visual comparison between the same sensors across a floor plan. For that, let's head over to the building section. In this section, we have a geographical overview of our locations. I can select the location I'm interested in, either from the top icons or on the map. Here we have a great visual representation of our installed devices. I've already uploaded floor plans and mapped out the devices across four floors, and we can filter on specific devices. For example, the temperature, the total volatile organic compound, radon, carbon dioxide, relative humidity, and barometric pressure. You can easily add a new device here by clicking on the Add Device button. Select the device you want to add and start by clicking in one of the corners for the room where we want to add the device. Then continue the path in all four corners, back to the first one, select where your sensor is located, and press the check mark. There it is. So this is a really good way to visualize indoor air quality in a very intuitive way. Let's briefly go through the last two sections before we wrap up. The settings section will allow you to set up the language used in the dashboard, as well as units and date format. 
You can also subscribe to our newsletter from here. The notification tab will allow you to set up threshold limits and get notifications within the dashboard. These will be shown by the little bell up to the right corner. The security tab will allow you to change the password as well as logging out from all sessions. Finally, the user management will allow you to invite additional people to the account. The integrations section is for those who wish to share data to an external implementation by using webhooks or REST API. You can easily create a new webhook and control it from within the dashboard. The same goes for the REST API. You can create a new API client, configure it, and enable it from here. For more information on this, you can refer to the GitHub examples and the API documentation, all linked from within the dashboard. I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial. If you have any questions while using the dashboard, you can click on the small blue chat icon down to the right to get in contact with us. Thank you for watching.